A woman who pleaded guilty in the murder of her boyfriend is sentenced today. Wendy Thomas was charged with stabbing, beating, and suffocating Kino Butler with her body. Jet 24 Samir Nefsi was in the courtroom today. He joins us now with much more. Samir? Yeah, that's right, Sean. Today is the end of this bizarre case. Keenan Butler's family was in the courtroom today as Judge Cuttingham sentenced 44 year old Wendy Thomas to 18 to 36 years in prison for third degree murder. 44 year old Wendy Thomas sat in court today, emotionless, waiting for her sentencing for the murder of her boyfriend, 44 year old Keno Butler. She meant to kill him, she destroyed his body. The max sentencing could have been 20 to 40 years of incarceration, but after negotiating a plea deal, the court accepted an offer of 18 to 36 years. If you take into account all the factors, uh, including the level of violence uh, and the mental states of the people involved, I think it's an appropriate resolution. When asked if Thomas had anything she would like to say to the court or to Butler's family, she simply muttered, I want to apologize to the family and I'm very sorry. However, the Butlers feel the sentencing was light. I thought she should have more. Just like the judge said, she meant to kill him. Butler's body was found with more than 90 traumatic injuries to it, from bruises to stab wounds. Now, prosecutors say that Thomas allegedly left the following morning to go get crack cocaine. Even with this traumatic event, the Butler sisters are still able to remember the good times they shared with him. Because Keaton always said, I'm a man. <laughs> and he always said, every time we tell him, sit down, Keno, he says, I'm a man. Don't tell me what to do. Now, Thomas's defense claims that what happened the night of Butler's death was ha fueled by drug and alcohol related events. Back to you, Sean. Right, Samir Nefsi reporting tonight. Also